right, so today is public testing day. This is an opportunity for Milwaukee residents and the public to come check out how our machines work and what machines are going to be used on election day. So this is our DS, or sorry, DS850, this is our high speed tabulator. Um, we have 13 that will be in operation on election day. Um, it's already been uh, cleaned maintenance and the election has been uploaded uh, and it's gone through its rigorous logic and accuracy testing and so today is a public demonstration of that test. So these ballots here are test deck ballots. They've already been pre-filled. These ballots are not used on election day. They're destroyed once uh, the retention period is over um, and we get a test deck for every single ward with every single ballot. So every single seat, every single ward, a ballot will be tested and reviewed for accuracy. So the way we use our high-speed machines, this is the screen, this is the mechanism that counts. Um, and so you put the ballots in, it doesn't matter which way. Line them up to the machine. Typically you'd pick a ward, but for this purpose, because it's testing, we don't pick the ward. And then we just hit start. So these three bins represent different things about the ballot. The bottom bin is the bin that tells you every ballot was great, it counted, please put me in a secure ballot bag. So we take these and on election night they go inside of a secure ballot bag where they are not removed um, unless absolutely necessary. In the event that they get removed we are clearing the results from the machine and starting over. On the middle bin um, is anybody that may have put in a write-in candidate. So, like I said, the test deck has every possibility of an option on that ballot, um, and some people decide that they want to write in a candidate, and they can do that. And so these ballots are write-ins. So on election night, our two bipartisan staff, especially trained, review every single ballot individually to find that write-in candidate. Um, and if it's registered and to be counted, it gets tallied. Um, so that's a pretty rigorous process. Uh, so. Once they write those in, these have already been counted. The only thing that the machine said was, hey, there's a writing candidate. Make sure you check it and tally it. So these go into the bag as well. Our top bin is the bin that says, there is something wrong with this ballot. I didn't count it. Please check. So we review the ballot. And if you'll see here, this is an overvoted ballot, which means it's a test to have someone who voted two times. So in a case like this, if you vote two times in the same contest, it will not count. Um, similarly, there are ballots that may not have any votes at all. So if you see here, nobody voted, that someone did not vote for president. And that's like, okay, so this is an undervote and this is an overvote. So the ballot was not counted and what we're going to do is we're going to turn sorting off because now we've told the machine, hey, thanks for letting me know that there's something wrong with this ballot. We've reviewed it and you do whatever you need to do, whether it's reconstruct, um, put it back in, tally something, that it was an overvote or undervote. And then you put it back in the machine because the machine says, all right, thanks. Now whatever is gonna go in here is gonna count. And it goes through the process again. And this happens for every single absentee ballot that gets processed here at the City of Milwaukee Election Commission. And this is, these are the, the absentee ballot tabulators. Correct. So the high speed machines are what we use at Central Count to count every uh, mail-in ballot, every ballot that's counted at a long-term care facility, every ballot that's count, that is uh, voted on at early voting, um, which is in-person absentee voting. So all of those ballots get processed and sorted at our secure uh, operation center, inside of our secure ballot room where only specially trained um, staff can go into. Once they're sorted, then they're put out at central count, which is signed by bipartisan teams that then process those ballots. And any ballot that's not legitimate, any ballot that doesn't pass muster, that doesn't qualify, will not be opened and will not be counted. So by the time the ballots make it to this machine, these are legitimate ballots that a Milwaukee resident voted on. So a citizen of Milwaukee voted on these ballots, it will be counted in the machine.